Welcome to this new video. This week we are going to show you how to migrate your mailboxes between Microsoft 365 tenants. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. First, log in and enter your migration project. Once you access the project, the first step is to configure both the source and target Microsoft 365 connectors. Click on Connectors and click on New. Select Microsoft 365. Select Source as the direction. Select Mail for Migration Product and give your connector a name. Click Next. For this tutorial, we're going to using the automatic mode. You can use the expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the expert mode in this video. However, more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be admin of the tenant. This is the account that will be used to access resources such as shared mailboxes, rooms and equipments, and so on. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. This will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. For this, you will be prompted for a global admin account that is only necessary for installing the application. Now that we have created the source connector, let's create the target Microsoft 365 version. This time, select a Microsoft 365 connector, select Target as Direction, and select Mail as Product. Again, we are going to use the automatic mode and not the expert mode. In the automatic mode, you just have to enter an existing migration account and its password. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. For this, you will be prompted for a global admin account that is only necessary for installation the application. Now that we have our connectors created, let's migrate a user. First, or from the Discovery homepage by selecting Get User Mailboxes. In the Get List pop-up, select your source and target connector. Select Standard as Recipient Type. For the rewriting rules on this demo, we will simply rewrite the email addresses and replace the domain name. Various other options are available. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the list of users appear in the list. Now, let's pick up the user and migrate him. In our target tenant, the user named admin does not exist. We called him ADM. Therefore, we need to rename the entry prior to migrate him. Let's edit the user and modify the entry. Note that the platform is not provisioning the user. It has to exist in the target and have a valid Microsoft 365 license. Once edited, Let's migrate him and let's come back after it's completed. Good, the migration is completed. We can see the statistics of the migration in the user details. We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard. Thank you for watching and please do check out our other migration guides.